Alrighty guys, so we gotta get into SoFi in this video, break down the charts, the earnings coming up, yeah you heard that right, earnings, I'm not sure if you guys knew, but they're set to report earnings in the next couple of weeks here, so we're gonna break down the estimates, my thoughts there, so if y'all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and guys, you might as well follow me on X as well, at Stocks Talk Stocks, and with that being said guys, cheers, let's dive right into the video, so of course, you guys probably probably know at this point SoFi has been taking a beating over the past couple of days really all of last week we sold off from over ten dollars per share uh, down to about 820 816 uh, was actually the low from Friday so we sold off over two dollars per share from Monday to Friday that was a big move uh, looks like I actually know from Friday to Friday either way big down move here on SoFi over 20 percent so essentially sofi got into a bear market just last week just from last week's um you know trading days and friday it went down over two percent actually down almost two and a half percent so heading into this week guys on the five day five minute chart here we do have a descending triangle keep that in mind we do have a descending triangle we have higher lows or lower highs excuse me uh being made here into the support at about 828 15 which we're uh you know holding on by a thread at this point we held it all week last week but for how much longer are we going to hold it i don't know but again descending triangle is what we have right here which is a bearish pattern and it could send sofi potentially back under eight dollars per share maybe that's if it does play out on the five day five minute and you guys can see it here on the 10 day 30 minute chart as well and of course you can see the death cross we're obviously under the 50 and the 180 moving averages here and you can see sofi is actually down over 20 percent it's actually down about 21 and a half percent from the recent 1049 high which i believe is the high uh, from this go around, this rally that we had, yeah, 1049, we hit that a couple of days ago, about a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago. Uh, but yeah, so far, you guys see that descending triangle. And on the 20-day chart, you can see we're getting awfully close to the lows from it looks like the beginning of last month. So one month ago, we were at about 780, 785, 790, 8 bucks in general. And it looks like if the triangle plays out, the descending triangle, which we covered, you know, this could send the stock back down to that range, $7.80, $8. Maybe it breaks $7.80, we go even lower. I mean, that's a big support as well. But who knows if it holds, right? By the looks of it, man, SoFi has been getting hit. And to be honest, a lot of the red did come over these couple of days here, the one, two, three days. That was on the 29th, the 2nd of January, and it looks like here the 3rd of January. So a lot of the red came in three days. So we did consolidate a good amount of last week. But again, I'm not trusting the bulls here, at least in the short term, as of yet. And I could see this easily slip under $8 potentially uh, heading into this week, and that could set us up pretty nicely heading into earnings i'm sure you guys know we have earnings coming up i forgot to tell you the date hold on a second here guys i believe it's on the 29th let me double check that though um yeah 29th of january in the morning they're set to report 7 a.m central standard time so that's going to be a big one and that's still in about three weeks so we still have a lot of time that's a lot of time especially uh, for SoFi, I mean, that's the difference uh, between, you know, $7 and $10. I mean, look, this was a three-week run right here pretty much from six fifty seven bucks all the way to ten dollars that was essentially a three-week run so for all we know by the time earnings come around we could be back over ten dollars i have no idea but in the case that we sell off even more heading into earnings that could be setting us up for uh, maybe a situation where earnings are actually pretty decent, and I think they'll be pretty decent. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed, but if earnings are good, maybe better than expected, and we're down 30% or whatever it is, that could be setting up for a big bounce back, a sharp bounce back move, which you guys know I'm long SoFi, and I might add even more to kind of position myself 
Uh, not so much for the short-term move because it is a long-term um, investment, so I'm not really banking on it, bouncing after earnings, right? Whatever it can, if it wants to, it's all good. Uh, but it, it's kind of a good time. It, it'd be a good time to look at it. Let's just put it that way, at least in my opinion, in the six and a half, seven dollar range, which is kind of where I'm looking to add more personally uh, to my position. So yeah, we'll see, man. You know, might sell off even more before earnings. And speaking of earnings, let me actually pull up Safari very quickly. Make sure to hit that like button, by the way, guys, and subscribe. I appreciate you all for tuning in as always. So let's break down some basic numbers here before we go over the earnings estimates here on Yahoo Finance. So we have SoFi down again, 2.4% on Friday. You guys can see that here on the website let me zoom in a little bit more there we go and now they're back under an eight billion dollar market cap which some would argue that's still overvalued you know there's a lot of bears out there that think sofi is worth a dollar we're not going to get into that in this video guys but yeah it was over i mean at one point it was well over 10 billion right wasn't it at one point uh but just recently it was over 8 billion now we're back under 8 billion and you guys know trailing 12 months EPS is negative, negative 45 cents. So hopefully they can start turning that green, if you know what I mean, guys, getting that profit, get the profits rolling. Uh, but right now, negative 45 cents trailing 12 months EPS. We have the beta, which is essentially how volatile a stock is compared to the stock market in general. So let's say the stock market has a beta of one and we have... SoFi in this case that has a beta of 1.8 yeah that's way more volatile than the overall uh, stock market and let's say for example let me actually pull it up and show you guys here why not let's do it live on the video let's say if we pull up a company like uh, Philip Morris which you guys may or may not know what they do but I guarantee you their beta yep there it is it is under one so this is actually one that's less volatile uh, than the stock market. So we have the SoFi's of the world. You guys can see here the beta. You see that 69.69 right there, the five-year monthly beta. Yeah, we have, we got the uh, the Philip Morris's of the world and we have the SoFi's of the world that are very, very volatile. And don't get it wrong don't, or uh, twisted, right? Philip Morris is still uh, pretty volatile sometimes, but in the grand scheme of things, way less volatile uh, than SoFi, right? And other stocks that have a beta over uh, one. But either way, let's go back to SoFi here, guys. We're not going to talk about beta anymore, and we're not going to break down uh, Philip Morris in this video. Maybe another day. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, let's see what's going on on the analysis tab. Let me pull it up very quickly here, guys. So Based on 16 analysts here, it looks like we're looking at the average estimate of uh, or for EPS for earnings. Looks like it's at zero, so pretty much break even, which is actually good, uh, in my opinion. Of course, we'd like to see that north of zero, but we'll see how that plays out. The low estimate is negative one cent. The high estimate is uh, looks like two cents, so it looks like a two cent EPS. And a year ago, they lost five cents on the quarter. You guys can see uh, right here, they lost five cents. So in my opinion, a profitable quarter would be massive. Uh, that'd be good for the stock, no doubt. And like I said before, if we're oversold heading into the earnings, we get some surprise like that, whatever it may be, maybe a massive revenue beat, strong guidance we could be getting ready for a big move on SoFi, in my opinion. I don't know. We'll see. It's not guaranteed, obviously. Do your own research, but you never know, right? So revenue estimate based on 13 analysts. Looks like average estimate is $570 million, 570.63 to be exact. Low estimate is $554.9 million. The high is 591 million. 0.4 million you guys see right there and a year ago they did 443.4 million dollars so they're actually going to be growing a nice uh, amount if you ask me guys 28 percent almost 30 percent 28.7 percent uh year over year is the annual or excuse me the um 
the sales growth year over year. That's the estimate, right? So pretty good, pretty good in my opinion, guys. And we'll see again if they're finally able to start consistently turning a profit at some point here. I mean, the stock, of course, would love it if it became, uh, if SoFi became fully profitable, right? I'm sure it's going to happen uh, fairly soon here, but the stock would love it, especially if it's a surprise. Uh, we got some big profitable quarters going. We'll see how it goes, guys. But overall, that's a quick breakdown on these estimates here. Let me come back to the chart and show you overall what's going on on this four-hour chart very quickly, which you guys know at this point, uh, we're right by the 180 SMA. Looks like we're trying to hold a higher low here potentially, but it all comes down to $780, $8, 825 That's a big level of support, which if we fail there, things could slip and turn ugly fairly quickly, which honestly, it depends who you're talking to, right? Sure. If you're in this as a trade in the short term, you get in now and then it collapses under 780. Yeah, that would suck. But if you're looking at it from a long-term perspective and you want to buy more shares, you're like, all right, that's actually not that bad. I get to buy into the weakness and uh, you know, you have that long-term mentality. It all depends on what perspective you have but yeah, I mean, for me, I'd be looking at it under seven bucks, of course, for the long term. And I know a lot of the traders out there, which I'm a trader too, but if you're trading this, which I'm not necessarily trading it right now, but if you are trading it, you got in, you're all excited, you want to see it bounce, uh, then all of a sudden it goes under eight. You're like, holy crap, this thing might go even lower. Yeah, that would not be the best. Uh, scenario. But either way, that's a breakdown here on SoFi heading into this week. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, guys, each up to two thousand dollars use that link down below or go to stossurfest.com slash mumu open up your account and fund it with that lease a hundred bucks you get five stocks and fund it with that lease a thousand bucks you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars guys so get on it use that mumu link down below and full disclosure that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel you guys probably know that i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers i'll catch you in the next next one.